Hello guys. Hello everyone. I hope all are watching us because we are going to show you a very easy way of cooking this Persian food. So guys, welcome back to our YouTube. And we have, have, have a yeah, snack. You're eating. I guys, are we waiting for this to get going? Yeah. We for have, a while now. And I have been requesting this for literally like two years, mum. People on my Instagram have been asking for your recipes for your food. Yeah, I know. I and if you don't know how good our food is, yeah, we need to make a highlight reel on our Instagram. I'm going to actually be honest with you. The only reason I'm doing this is because I personally want to learn how to cook. So I bought this little recipe book. I'll put the link as well below for me to write down all my recipes I'm going to learn. Are we going to cook a what? Because I'm hungry. Yeah. Uh, We're going to take you on the journey with us and I'm yes. so excited to learn all these dishes. Yes. Yeah. Today we are going to make a Persian dish called Adas Polo. Adas Polo. Bokishmesh. It's basically like rice with raisins, lentils and little lamb meatballs. Well, there's different ways of making it. You can have it with chicken. Some people make it with like minced meat shredded. Some people make it with a little lamb meatballs. We're doing it with the lamb meatballs because that's the like nicest way. You will have a very, very delicious food. Mum, you're just so delicious. You're so oh, cute. You. How cute is my mum, guy? She's so cute. So we're going to make enough to feed five people. We've put 200 grams of green lentils in warm water last night. What you do is you leave it overnight and in the morning, it will be best if you change the water every couple of hours. You can do that two or three times. So with a two hour gap and then you change the water again. And the reason for this <laughs> is because Mandy is farts a lot. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> the reason for this is because these are lentils, they're like beans, right? You need to release the air out of the lentils, release the gas. Otherwise you're gonna be farting all day and night. Also, mum, what have you done here? This is rice. In the morning, when I wake up, wash 400 grams white basmati rice with warm water. It can be from the tap as well. And we put one and a half tablespoons of salt in it afterwards and let it just soak for a few hours before we make the meal. Don't forget you wash it a few times first before you leave We're them. hygienic bitches over here, yeah? Like, we don't just put unwashed our rice. Our rice has been bathed. Okay, guys, we've got our spices ready for the meat. We've also got three medium-sized onions. You can use two large ones instead if you like. And we've got about four garlic cloves and our lamb mince. We're gonna start off by grating the onions for the meat. Mandy has the job of writing everything down. I don't know how I've been talking to this guy. That next time when my mum's not here, we can still make it. With this onion going inside this easily been chopped and then put the water of the onion away and mix it with this so easy okay, let's start mum we're gonna film you doing it chop it up chop up the onion a very beautiful mm, vampire here yeah. I'm, she's going to do it i'm not the hard working one like really no i'm the one that brings you guys content she's just there guys wait till you see the finished product man it's like me before and after makeup I can't even peel an onion, let alone cook. <laughs> you know that day I cooked it and I grated every single onion by hand and we had this in the cupboard. What a fucking knob I am. We're getting rid of the onion water. Apparently onion water is very good for the hair. In it Iran they say it's very good for hair growth. So this is getting rid of the onion water, look. You're pressing. Pressing it. It's really icky, bro. Basically, mom, you're gonna stink like onions for days, no? These are the reasons I don't cook. My eyes are already watering. Wash the onion, it wasn't like this. What? If you wash the washing. What, wash what? Onion. What do you mean? Then we have more water. No, no, no. Oh, it wouldn't make you cry. It doesn't make you. Oh my god, no joke, guys. We squeeze the water out and now we put it with the lamb mince. Are you not writing it down, honey? Write it all down. Why don't you do one job? And she's adding the spices now. Good and mix them. Mix it till you feel everything is mixed. After that, leave it for half an hour. The flavor going inside the meat. 
Yeah, yeah. Slap it, mum. <laughs> so we're leaving that for half an hour now, guys. Have you been writing this? Yeah, Are you sure? Yeah. I'm checking. Whilst we wait for that meat, we're getting everything ready to do the lentils, which will go in the rice. So we've got all the spices out. We've got one large onion, two medium ones, or you can use two large ones. And we've got the other half of the garlic that we used earlier. So, mum, would you like to begin? We have to peel them and they cut them to fry them. For fry them, use butter and oil together. Oh, okay. What oil do you use? I prefer olive oil. We're going to cut these onions and fry them with butter and olive oil. Are you writing this down, Mandy? Mandy Andy doesn't approve of my recipe book because she says it doesn't fit. Okay. She's got some big ass handwriting. But when you want to cook, you want it to be clear. You want it to be big, bold. Like she That's uses it. a whole line for like two words. I like my recipe book, but she's destroyed it already. Shut the fuck up, please. You've destroyed it already. Just draining the lentils water out now because it's been soaking in warm water for so many hours it's basically like it's cooked once the onions are yellow we add the salt okay just leave it a little bit after a few minutes of letting the salt drain in we are adding the garlic in now once they're a golden color we're going to add in all the spices in we've had the lentils here for about 15 minutes and it's ready to add to the rice we're gonna make these into meatballs like i would help my mum but my nails will get ruined and i just got many we'll go yellow guys yeah your nails will go yellow at my home i always have gloves and i use the gloves i need a little bit water just like that awesome. in the bowl. Put the water in a bowl for when we're making the little mini balls so the balls don't stick to each other and like it just separates nicely. These are very as small as it is. I once in Iran helped one of the aunties do this and that's how I remember about the water. Nice little small. Perfect little ball. Oh, and you're not going to put any oil? So you don't put any oil? No, no because they, it is, it has got fat So you, normally you don't put any? We don't put any. It will create fat themselves. So in Persian we call this gush qal qali. Yeah, gush qali. Yeah? That's correct, yes. are done as you can see there's loads here because there's going to be five of us and we want enough for everybody but if you want you can make like larger balls but there'll be like less of them i like this size so when i take the spoon it's got everything in it it's got like a couple balls maybe one ball <laughs> and that's how i like but if you want you can literally make five one ball in your mouth is easy two balls maybe two more two balls in your mouth <laughs> Or you could just make the whole thing into like five balls and each person Five gets... balls rub in your yeah. mouth. I'm so tired. I have no money in the cooking. My mom's done the cooking. I'm so tired. Put it in the medium and leave it. It will have juice. It will self-create juice like a woman. <laughs> make meat to the tiny balls add into pan with no oil. <laughs> We're going to make the rice. Most people know how to make rice, but I don't. So I'm going to put tap water in. Okay. We're going to boil the water. We put it on very high heat and put the lid on it. 
as you can see all the juice has come out so it's ready to shake a little bit and this is how you do it so don't use a spoon or anything because then you're just going to break it apart just shake it like that and leave it again and the water is it boiling it's going it's getting there the raisins are going in here i'm going to wash them now yes harder now isn't it so we can like we can stir uh... apparently you can get like these raisins in sainsbury's but like the very tiny ones because the thing is these are really small so that's why it's it's nice for the food but you can go and find the really little ones in sainsbury's but it won't be as small this is cooking yeah we are waiting for this to boil the water's boiled so we're adding one tablespoon of salt into this the water yeah. stir and now we drain the water of this rice we had okay and then we pour it in there and then leave it don't put the head just stir it yes and leave it i'm sure you've seen it on me and mandy's instagram and obviously if you're iranian you know about tadi it's like the crack cocaine of Iran, Iranian life. It's that hard fried cooked end bit of the rice. You can either have bread, potatoes or rice. There's three types of tadis. Probably even more, but I just don't know about it. Honestly, it's the best It's part. like fought over at the dinner table. Literally fight over it. Everyone's staring at it and nobody's talking about it. Yeah, <laughs> literally you all look at it and we don't talk about it and you don't want to be rude, but you want it all. So we're going to show you how to make that now. We prefer Iranian bread, which is called levosh. But we don't have we'll this bread. We start with this bread. white bread. Yeah. Basically, we have to use Greek bread, pita bread, <laughs> Greek pita bread, but what we really want is lavosh, but you can't get Persian lavosh bread on delivery. like you can only get Greek bread on delivery. so, because it's easy, we ordered it on delivery. Mandy's got a Greek okay. boyfriend, so she's trying to make sliding. <laughs> is that him? I love you, Ruby. Do it like this, yes, because otherwise it will be very, very hard. You don't want this much. So we're filling out the side. the thinner side of the pita bread we're going to put around and the thicker side which we tried to thin out as much as we could but it's still thick we'll put it in the middle because that's obviously going to have the most heat and it's going to cook the best i'm yeah. waiting for this to be ready and look at this this is so juicy and nice so juicy, juicy and nice can't wait to eat this i can't wait to eat this i can't wait to eat this I can't believe I know how to make this now, but I don't know if I'll ever make it. It's just long. And it takes two bars to bang it out. Do you think? Yeah. Cooking so long. It feels long because like you're making a video at the same time. Right, it has got some white things on top. You have to take it and throw it away. Really? Yes. Yes. I never knew you'd have to do that. Yeah, it is better to do it, yes. What is that white thing? Bad energy of the no, rice. No, it's the bad energy. Whatever I learn, it is you have to be taken away, you know. I don't sometimes know. Iranians have things that they do that they don't know why they do. Don't take a shower after you eat, you might die. No there's no scientific <laughs> backing behind it, it's just things that we do. Yeah. And this is just one of those things. She doesn't know why, but you just do it. So basically as soon as you see the rice coming up, it's basically ready to drain, apparently. Mandy, stop making so much bloody noise. I discovered a cucumber that I should have used instead of the one I used, right? The one I used top March day. That one I used before top March. Put a little bit of hot water. Hot water, you know, or warm water, you can say. Warm water. Warm water. In there. And pour it on top of that, that if there is extra salt. Yes. Okay, and then you pour it back. And wash it that way. Yeah. You can see and you can test it. Clean your pan because there is that white things around that. You don't want that. She hates the white stuff yeah. for some reason. And the water is draining as you can see. So you need saffron in order to make the tadig and this is basically a persian spice it is the most expensive spice in the world it's actually more expensive than gold and it's produced in iran saffron it doesn't usually come looking like this it comes a bit like looking like tea leaves and you have to grind it i don't know how to my mum did it 
but you have to grind it and mix it with a bit of sugar to produce this powder. There will be another episode on our channel on how to create saffron and make it into a powder, how to grind it and, and make it ready and prepared for food. But if you don't know how and you really wanna know how for this dish, then you can find it on, we'll put a link and you can find out online on another website. So it's not that hard guys. So she's going to now put a quarter of a teaspoon of this saffron. With a little bit of water, hot mm -hmm. water. And look at that, water. boiling water. Orange juice, Fanta. No, not really. We put the Ooh. She's now put the pot on here with no oil. She's put it on medium heat, warming up the baby. And now she's adding in the oil. Just a little bit. <laughs> That's what, <laughs> that is what Iranians call just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> important part guys the rice is going on the madness here you know when they say you want to get good Persian food they, they don't measure things they do it blind they just throw things in man <laughs> they just pour things in throw things in you know like that good Thai food or that good Indian Maddie, food that good Pakistani food you find it in some market that's what it's like my mum is just throwing things in do your thing mum okay a little bit a, of look at that you know, oh, look at that the fatty oil of the produced itself it produced itself we're pouring that into you. Oh my gosh. Okay. Put a little bit of this oh yes. Look at that. inside this as well. Oh. Yes, you know? Right. So yeah, we need some of the bowls for on top of the rice. So we're not going to put all the bowls in the bowl. Yeah. Don't put all your bowls in one basket. Don't we? Okay. All right. Now, she's going at it now. Layering it in there. Little bit of rice, little bit of lentils and bowls. A little bit more rice. And then it goes with the balls again. The balls and the lentils. Give me a ball, give me a ball. Just give me one ball, one ball. Okay, oh. perfect. Mm, um, um. You guys don't know, man. You don't know, it's all worth it. It's all worth it. That was the best ball I've ever had in my life. Layers, it's got layers to it. It's like me, it got layers. What I do, I do put them mm -hmm. in like a mountain. <laughs> <laughs> like a mountain, okay. Okay, and I make a hole. In the middle. In the middle. Holes and holes. And here, here. You must be 16 over to here, watch this. And then here, okay. And then put the lid. What about them pools, mom? Huh? Those are going to the top, yeah? Top when we give. When we serve, serve. when we serve. Yeah. Shout out to you, okay. And they leave that. Okay. I'm really tired watching her cook. The last bit of the saffron. Yeah. Oh, wait. Where are you going? The last part. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Going on top of that. Okay. And make it ready when it's going to When pop. it goes on top. Right. So we're draining the raisin. All I'm saying, guys, is like, it ain't easy. It ain't easy. If it was easy, there would be no Adas Polo. There'd be no Korma Sabzi. There'd be no Fest in June. These are all Iranian dishes. That's a Denzel Washington speech. Guys, now we're preparing the raisins, which are going to go with the meatballs we've just drained in saffron juice. Guys, we put one large onion with 30 grams of butter. So I got it wrong, guys. I said one oh, small. Oh. Ready for the raisins. So guys, we're just gonna let the rice cook like this. We're not gonna take off the lid until we see it steaming through the edges, and then there's another step to it. As you can see this is frying nicely. And we're gonna pour the raisins in. of cinnamon into the raisins. This one. Perfect. In it goes. If you also want
one, you can add dates into this part. You just have to take out the seeds in between the dates and put it in. A lot of Iranians do do that with this dish, but for me, I just think it's too sweet. So the last bit of meatballs that we left over, we're just going to put it into a, like, a bowl for now. And that will go on top of the whole rice. Once you serve it, you just sprinkle it on top. As we can see, where well, you can't see it through the camera, but there's steam coming out through the edges. So now we put this cloth around the lid and then put it in there. You know? uh, yeah. So that's what she does. She wraps it round like that. To keep the... To keep out all of the air. That's what the Iranians do. And that's it. How long leave it go? for half an hour. On a very low heat. Yeah. Food is ready. We've warmed up that last bit of meatballs again. It's going on the top. It's going to go on the top. So let's serve the rice. Wow. It has got juice. Yeah. Okay. Put this on top of that. This is the finished product. is the taddy wow oh my god oh my god it's perfect it's actually perfect oh. wow Thank you.